We're standing in front of 2781 Rhode Island Avenue in the Historic District in downtown Fort Myers. My name is Dave Detman and this is the finished video of a beautiful historic home. And this video is going to document how it looks like after we got done with the rehab. Let me start by putting stats on the screen. There you go. What's unique about this property is mainly the location. That's number one because we are in the finite neighborhood of old original historic downtown Fort Myers completely built up some beautiful homes down here you can see the gorgeous palms that run up and down the streets here and it's virtually impossible to find a property for sale in this neighborhood and when it sells it sells right away and that's what uh, we expect this one to do now this home here also consists of a guest house which gives it more value and more uniqueness as well as a pool which you'll see in a minute and there's virtually none here with a pool start out front here you can see the beautiful Royal Palm out front two coconut trees right here as well beautiful shade tree large corner lot lawn meticulous got a beautiful big original open front porch and uh, drive through carport right there so we go around here we'll just show you all the features of the house got a nice hedge here for some privacy and aesthetics that fence there walls off and gives you privacy for the pool area you can see a side access set of steps there big sun porch right here and uh, also the rock has all been tuck pointed beautifully and uh, just the grandeur of this old home and the stories it could tell are fantastic. Landscaping's all been spruced up. We uh, put an epoxy finish paint with speckles and the stairs going up. Really gives a nice finished look. And uh, painted the concrete here. So everything's perfect. Beautiful front door. Love the glass windows with the original glass in them. And the ceiling here is all finished. It'd make a great place for an old porch swing, wouldn't it? Now we're not going to go in the front door. We're going to go around to the back. So let me take you down the steps here and walk around back. All right. Love this trellis here. Isn't that pretty? And the way this drive through is done here. Very nice. This is all freshly mulched and trimmed along here along here. There are a couple of new windows here that are done identical to the original windows, match nicely. And this is a garage that's kind of sort of a golf cart or motorcycle garage. You can't get a car in there, but it's actually quite large. Concrete block. This fence here is your privacy fence to the left. And down there is the AC inside for the guest house. Coming over here, here's our pool equipment and our air conditioning system and look at how private this is back here as you come in here isn't this beautiful this is our decks all been cleaned up here's the guest house right here here's the garage right here and look at this pool area wow isn't that amazing we also cleaned up and painted the pool deck. But look at this backyard. Here's our steps going up to the main house. We'll go in there in a minute. Electrical's all been updated out here. Uh, and uh, also there's a home alarm. But for downtown Fort Myers, this is nothing short of fantastic. I want to show you over here, there's a parking area. This fence door opens up right here. And this is fully paved parking for up to two cars. Very private. You wouldn't even know there's a car in there. Uh, and uh, those doors are heavily steel reinforced. And there are hydraulic rams on each side, which uh, don't work at the moment. We did get a price on fixing them, about $800. You can put new hydraulic rams and make that fully automatic with an electric opener. Shows you the side of the guest house right here. Come along here. And uh, that's a papaya tree, by the way. Coming down here is your guest house. Main entrance to the guest house right here, but we're gonna go in through the back door. And then our garage right here. 
has double doors. Really kind of a pool house. You go in here. We had a large tarp down while we were doing some work. We didn't pick that up yet, but you can see that's a steel reinforced, relatively brand new garage door with garage door opener. Pool cage, or I'm the, the uh, child fence for the pool up there. Some extra storage up there. Relatively a new garage, because you can see by the concrete block and uh, nice power out here. So, what a great garage. So, with that, let's go up these steps and go in the house and check it out. Alright, here we come upstairs. Nice big glass door. These are new windows across the back right here, these two. As you come in, we've got the old standard white and black checkerboard floor. And uh, this is the washer and dryer that we just installed. It's all ready to go. Uh, we are going to replace that water heater because there's a little bit of rust at the bottom. So that's going to be replaced on Friday. Looking up here, get the old brick here. Put a new light fixture there. This is very nice. You can see the new windows. There is an alarm system on the home. That's the alarm panel right there. This is the main door that goes into the house. So we'll head in through here. Look at these original wood floors. They've all been beautifully restored and beautiful, gorgeous shape. Uh, we've got uh, the original kitchen cabinets with black granite tops put on. All the original hinges and knobs. But uh, we've got the, the modern uh, magnets are in. Lots of shelving. Looking over to my right. Turn the light on. You can see it's got the original old lights. There's a canister light there. Uh, some of the cabinets you can see there. These weren't big kitchens in these old homes, but uh, stainless steel sliding range and uh, microwave oven. Refrigerator right there. Dishwasher. And uh, modern sink. See everything here. It's just we got the water shut off, I'm sorry, right now, but uh, very nice. Modern switches and uh, lights. Like I said, a lot of the electrical was updated. Love these floors. Walk in here is the grand living room. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? This room is huge. Fantastic fireplace at the end down there. Got the original sconces. And they all work on each side of the fireplace and wall sconces over here on this wall. Got the beautiful crown molding. Ceilings are all replastered and in mint condition. Fireplace has just some beautiful stonework here or brickwork. It's a combination of brick and stonework. Looking back this way. Fantastic. Quick note on the fireplace, we have not tried it, so I recommend that you have it inspected prior to use. And we did put in a brand new thermostat. When we service the system, we just have to do some touch-up painting right here. Now, coming in here, again, these gorgeous floors. This is the sunroom. This can also be used as a bedroom. It's got beautiful ceiling fans in the ceiling there, lights, lots of gorgeous windows and uh, French doors right there that close off. Again, the ceiling is all nicely done. Crown molding. This is my favorite room in the house, by the way, because I love this uh, woodwork down here. It's absolutely beautiful. And a uh, little buffet, built-in buffet over here. The original glass doors. We'll finish over there, but uh, let me go upstairs first. Coming up these steps, the original wood steps. As you can see, the paint in the house is all new. Coming up here, got some original built-ins. Keeping with the original floors up here, of course. Got some twin closets right here. With the storage up overhead, just like the only original old houses. Your view out here, you can see that's a newer dimensional shingle roof on the main house. Garage is also a new, newer shingle roof. The uh, shingles on the guest house look to be of average age. 
Got one of the original glass doorknobs. Some storage in here. Again, storage closet in here. Yeah, we gotta shave that down just a little bit. Doesn't quite show. And here's our master bedroom up here. And lots of beautiful windows. We put a new ceiling fan in up here. Throw a paint job on this room. We actually matched the original paint that was in here. And uh, these shutters are the nice magnetized ones that open, so you can see outside. Love that. So, it's just a beautiful master bedroom. Gorgeous restoration job on this home. The original master bath with that uh, tile floors. That's the original marble tile. Got those old fashioned corner tubs with the old shower. You know, remember the first 360 degree, full 360 degree shower rod. And uh, over here, did update the uh, sink and toilet very nicely, but keeping with 100% of the look of the home. Just a beautifully put together old home. Now this is stuck. This does open, but I'm not going to force it. All it is is a couple of shelves in there for shaving material. Looking out here. So, need to do some minor touch up in here from the shower. These are great showers, but you do have to touch up around the windows every once in a while from the condensation. So, now that that's up here, let's walk back downstairs. And uh, I don't know if I showed you that buffet at the bottom of the stairs, but that's uh, nice with some drawers, and storage, garage door opener. And coming around the corner here, our other first floor bedroom. Again with the beautiful hardwood floors, these are all big rooms. Nice windows, lots of natural sunlight. Love old houses. Wall sconce right there, original. Original wall sconce over there. Original wall sconce right there. And uh, got one of the glass doorknobs here. Opens up. Uh, actual drawers, look at that. Built underneath the stairs with every bit of storage use possible. And then this room here opens up and here's your access to your air handler for the air conditioning of the home. Finally is this gorgeous first floor bathroom. Beautifully restored. I love this sink that they put out in here. And the walls, the lighting. Look at all these windows. Found an antique style toilet to go in here. Let's close that lid though. They look a lot more attractive with the lid down. And uh, around the corner here, they did go with a modern shower. But it's a walk-in shower. Doesn't even need a uh, curtain right here. So, just beautiful. So, fantastic home in the main home. So, let's head outside and go check out the guest house. Okay, here we are in front of the guest house. There's the doors that go to that private parking area with your access coming off right here. And that road dead ends right there, so you've got a lot of privacy here. And uh, guest house is in very nice shape. We did some trimming last week. The guys didn't pick up the uh, trimmings yet, so they'll be get out of here in a few minutes. But right behind us are the towers of Beau Rivage. And these are on the Caloosahatchee River. So your neighborhood, as you can see, is pretty impressive on all four sides. Now coming in the guest house, got some nice windows, it's very cute. And we're met with all tile floors here. Love that pattern. Fresh paint in here. Big living room. Nice little kitchen area. There's a nice uh, border here going around the uh, kitchen transition strip. Uh, raised panel cabinets, this little four burner stove, mini uh, fridge right there, cupboards there, lights, little built in bookcase right here. And that door there is the one that accesses out to the pool. So, 
And that goes right out to the pool. So how nice is that? Some storage in our air handler right here. Back in this room here is just a storage room. The windows are covered up for privacy. You could take those covers off if you want. Here's our look at our living room from here. And we've got a nice little bath, tile floors, sink, nice uh, bathtub, nice towel around that. Light bar, rain shower head, some glass block for a nice accent, even a fan. Places for towels right there, and our stool. Everything you need in a little bathroom. Then coming over here is the bedroom. We did some painting in here, so we just have to put those closet doors back on since we painted. And uh, kept the original brick wall over here for a nice accent. So very cute. So that concludes our tour today of this beautiful historic home. If you'd be interested in more information on this homes or other homes like it, and they're rare, my information has come up the screen in just a second. And if you'd like to receive homes like this as they become available, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you get all the latest up-to-date videos. Well, that does it for me. My name is Dave Detman of Real Edge Real Estate Brokerage. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'm also the host of Flipping Florida. Check out that channel on YouTube. And we look forward to seeing you and yours in sunny Southwest Florida real soon. You take care and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.